Hey everyone, it's Matt here. Welcome back to another episode of Savant's Tech Talk. Let's be honest, as a novice in the field of programming, you have probably ended up using the words Java and JavaScript interchangeably. It's only later in our careers that we realize that both of these words have a whole lot of differences in them. In today's video, that's exactly what we're gonna be talking about. The key differences between Java and JavaScript. As always, if you find this topic interesting, then you can let us know by hitting that like button and subscribing to this channel for more videos. You can also let us know if you find it interesting in the comments down below. Now let's jump into it. First, we have to understand what both of these terms mean. Java is an object-oriented programming language, and it's also alternatively known as scripting language and is a multi-platform and network-centric programming language. Java is also used as a computing platform. On the other hand, JavaScript is a lightweight programming language, also known as an object-based scripting language. JavaScript can insert dynamic text into HTML. Alternatively known as the browser's language, it infuses life into web pages and makes them more interactive. It was in fact the first language integrated fully inside internet browsers such as Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, and Mozilla Firefox. So now that we have a fair idea of what the two languages are, let's have a look at the differences. First is the type of language. One of the main differences between Java and JavaScript is that Java is a compiled language, while JavaScript is an interpreted language. In compiled languages, the source code has to be compiled before the program is distributed to end users for final execution. Java uses a two-step compilation process to convert the source code into a simplified form which can be processed by the computer. JavaScript as an interpreted language can be directly executed by the interpreter in real time. The only condition is that the interpreter needs to be accessible in the execution environment. Developers prefer interpreted languages since they're easy to work with, and this is because they're flexible and have less restrictions. File extension. The Java program has a file extension of .java, and it translates the source code into bytecodes. And this translation is executed by the Java virtual machine. And then on the other hand, JavaScript has the file extension .js. Every browser has a JavaScript interpreter to execute the JavaScript code, since JavaScript is interpreted and not compiled. Nature of typing. Java is more statically typed, while JavaScript is more dynamic. Java requires you to declare the data types of the variables before using them in any program. Only after declaration along with type specification can the variables be used in the program. While the static format may seem tedious, it's actually a lot better than dynamic typing. Also, it helps to prevent mismatch of data type exceptions during runtime. Dynamically typed languages are more flexible and allow you to create variables without specifying their data type. The JavaScript engine itself will pick the variable type based on the value assigned at runtime. You're also free to assign different data types to the same variable as you continue creating the program. JavaScript will accept all of it without any hassles. Memory usage. The Java program uses more memory, and JavaScript uses less memory, which is also why it's used in web pages. The threading category. Java is multi-threaded, and JavaScript is a single-threaded programming language. In multi-threaded programs, parts of the program run simultaneously, and this allows you to carry out multiple tasks concurrently, saving you a lot of time. This is especially helpful when a particular program takes a long while to execute. Rather than waiting, you can simply run another task in parallel. While JavaScript is single-threaded, you can still run concurrent code with it. But this wouldn't be as easy as it is with Java and requires a couple of additional steps. But yes, once you're done with the steps, JavaScript can also deliver asynchronous code execution and concurrency. Flexibility. With Java, you can write a code once and run it on almost any computing platform. The same doesn't apply to JavaScript, since it's a cross-platform language. The debugging process. Debugging is the most crucial aspect of software development. Since Java is a more systematic and compiled language, it's easy to debug any errors. Before the compilation of the code, the computer itself will flag these errors, and this allows you to go through the code again, rectify the mistakes leading to the syntax errors, and execute it. This systematic debugging only ensures that your code is free of errors while saving you time. JavaScript is not compiled, 
which is why it can be made free of errors only at runtime. But like Java, JavaScript tools allow real-time debugging. You can do this by stepping through the code line by line as it executes. So which one is better? When it comes to popularity, JavaScript hands down wins over Java. Since JavaScript is a lot more flexible, it's ranked at the top as the most commonly used and loved programming language. Interestingly, though both of these languages are starkly different, you can still achieve a similar outcome with both languages. If you don't want to maintain multiple code bases for Android and iOS for developing mobile applications, JavaScript is a much better alternative. But if you're developing a native Android app, then you need to work with Java only. For developing cross-platform desktop graphical user interface apps, you can use either Java or JavaScript. The result won't matter. Understanding the differences between these two programming languages helps to understand the applicability of the languages in a better way. So the next time you're handed over a project, you'll be in a better position to know which language, whether it's Java, JavaScript, or both to use to develop the project. So there we have it. We've looked at what the differences are between Java and JavaScript. If you found this video helpful, once again, you can let us know by hitting that like button and subscribing to this channel if you haven't already. Also, you can let us know if it helped you out in the comments section down below. Thank you for watching.